Hey guys, I'm Shane Gass here. Today I am down at the home of Airrush Australia, Airborne Kite Surfing, to pick up my new gear for 2019, catch up the boys, find out what's new, what's changed, and to also drop off a board that I've been demoing for way too long. Come on inside. All right, I'm here with Dave from Airrush Australia. He's gonna run us through the changes and the new sort of boards that have come into the lineup this year. What do we got, Dave? Yeah, so we'll start off with the court, with the uh, foil board range. So we've got basically all these boards here in the blue. We've got starting off with the mini core foil board. This is for your advanced foil riders. Super small, super small swing weight. Um, sick, super little. So that one's your low volume one for guys who've been doing it for you know, a season or two. Then we've got the next step up, which is your, like your free ride standard size, the core foil board. And then the biggest one, the progression foil board, which is for your beginners, the guys are starting out 51 wide, um, gets played nice and early, so you don't have to run too powered up. Um, yeah. And then obviously you have the foils and stuff to go with that as well. Yeah, so obviously we're onto our third generation of foils. You can see like uh, just behind you over there, this is the first couple of generations of foils. Now onto our third generation, fully modular, um, a range of wings, range of mast sizes, all cost compatible with the version two foil. So there, um, you can actually see that's a version two foil there. We're still waiting on the version three foils to arrive, but basically the same platform of that with slightly different wings. Um, we've got bigger wings, we've got smaller wings, we've got free ride wings, um, we've got different size rear wings as well. So you can run you know, any setup you really want. Awesome. Um, yeah, and so then, tell us a little bit about the surf directionals. Is there any changes this year? Yeah, so before we actually get to the surf directionals, we've actually got this these boards here which return for 2019. Last year was their first year and they're the, the, the Mini Monsters. So these are actually a crossover foil surfboard. So you can, you run the foil on the bottom, you can run the thruster setup if you want. Um, you can in the bigger ones, prone foil them, because they do have the volume and the thickness to enable you to do that. So they're a pretty cool board that you can do a bit of foiling on and use in the surf and just play around with them, kind of flat water and do little airs and things like that. Um, and then we move on to the, the full on uh, surfboard range. So in the surf range, there's basically three models with Airrush. They've got the Amp, which is your, you know, your onshore kind of slop, least powerful conditions. Um, kind Would of you your... recommend that for sort of the Perth conditions? Yeah, sort of? yeah, so your, your Perth, your, your downwinding kind of uh, trig, to, trig to Brighton kind of stuff. Um, that one there, or the Comp, which is your next kind of progression up in terms of quality of surf, I guess, and quality of conditions. Um, a bit pinier, a bit narrower, still still pretty versatile in the in the purse conditions. And then you go to the converse, which is your full down the line type bigger surf surfboard, which um, you know, good conditions like down south, main break, and the guys take these up to Nalu. Yeah. So, you know, they can handle the speed and good down steeper the line. Faces steeper faces. Steeper faces and you can really bury the rail in them and keep the rail engaged at high speed, whereas these are you know, with the volume and the thickness and the rails. These things are your high speed guns. Awesome, so pretty much for all conditions around Perth and up our sort of coast, you've got... Yeah, we've got, we've got, got a whole, we've got, we've got the whole range there. So, and, and a lot of it comes down to personal preference as well. So, you know, some people are using a board like, Com, like the Converse still in conditions up and down, not like Perth conditions, just because they like that style of boards what they're used to. Yeah. So it's, it's really what you, what you like and what you prefer. So they've got quite a big crossover in them as well. Yeah, awesome. All right, Dave, so that's the surf directionals and four board boards covered. Yeah. What's happening with the kites this year? Yeah. Any changes? I know the Ultra is a big kite this season. Yeah, so last year the Ultra you know, was the first year for the Ultra and it's a massive year, massive kite for Airrush. Um, Airrush last year actually won the AWSI Grand of the Year. That's the North American Water, Water Sports Industry Awards. That's awesome. And the Ultra was you know, led the way in that. It really, really, really took uh, Airrush to another level. So this year it returns. Um, slightly, slightly more po power in the profile. So it's a bit more gruntier profile. They've dropped the 15, they've got a 14 in that replaces that. And then they've brought in a bigger 17 for the bigger bigger riders this year. And I've heard a lot of the wave guys are actually, like their attention is now moving on to the Ultra and possibly yeah. using, yeah, using so, that in the surf. Yeah, so we are getting a, a fair few guys using the Ultra in the surf. Um, it's a fairly different kite from the wave in terms of how it flies and develops its power. So your classic, you know, bigger wave conditions, sailors who are doing big bottom turns and carrying a lot of speed probably don't like the Ultra so much, but for in, in you know, conditions where, the, where it's a bit lighter and you, you, the power and the speed isn't so much an issue in your turns, the Ultra is really good because you can actually get that drive in your turns from the kite. 
Um, it floats, floats really well, drifts really well. It, you know, it's a solid kite, the Ultra Pro in the ways, but it's, it's, it's got a real good crossover. So for free ride, um, light wind, you know, wave, um, beginner even, it's a really, really easy kite to fly, really predictable. So it's, it's a you know, really versatile kite. Awesome. In, re in regards to the wave, are there any changes this year? Yeah, so the waves actually had a big change this year. So they brought in on the wave the option of running a, a fixed bridle. So a lot of riders, I wouldn't say a lot of riders, but there's been a, a segment of the market who don't like bridles kites, or they <laughs> want as little, as little bridle as possible, or, you know, preferably a, a bridle with no pulleys. So that's what they've done this year. They taken the pulleys out of the bridle, it's all fixed, it's all like a, a knotted bridle. So you get a, a slightly different feel, um, not you know, noticeably different, but you get the improvement in no, you know, no pulleys, a lot simpler setup. In terms of feel, like it's sort of more direct? Yeah, so you still got the direct line connection on the back lines. Um, the feeling is more direct, but it's not, it's not massively different. If, you, if you've flown the, the wave and you like the way that feels, you know, you're going to like the, the way the new wave feels. Um, if you're looking for a kite that, you know, you didn't like the wave in the past because it had the bridles or it had longish bridles, then this is the answer to all your problems before. Awesome. Yeah. And just recently I've uh, got back from Indo and I was lucky enough to take off, take over one of the 2018 yeah. units. Yeah. Sure. Awesome kite. How has this changed this season? Is there any improvements or? Yeah, so similar to the wave, the Union has a fixed bridle as well. Um, different to the Wave, the Wave has the option of running the pulleys or the fixed, you can switch it up. The Union is a fully fixed kite, so there's no pulleys on it. Um, direct line connections to the back and then a cascaded kind of bridle on the front, but with no pulleys. Um, the kite is a little bit more compact this year. Um, slightly bigger wingtips, flies, flies awesome. Yeah, a lot of the guys are using these sort of like more, more so your free ride, your big airs. Yeah, so your your, your advanced free ride rider. You're, you know, your you guys not who's you know, who, who throws down the big jumps, likes to ride quick, likes to ride with a lot of power in his kite. You know, loves flying the kite, being able to you know move it through the air and ride. You know, doing that, not just a lock and lock it and leave it type yeah. rider. It's more your so your flight. hooked in tricks, but you can still yeah, experiment so, with the unhooked. Yeah, so this gives well. you the ability. You can do your unhooked tricks, but then you can still do the, the massive big air. You know, big air board offs, big kite loops. Yeah, um, it gives you, you know, the ability to do the both at a really high level. Wicked. And moving from there, we've got the. Um, the Razor, one of my favourite kites in the range. Mm. The kite that I started on I think it's, uh, and can't favorite. get away from, yeah. this kite. Fr uh, was it freestyle, weight style? It's more so de dedicated to your like, sort of high performance sort of stuff. Mm. Anything new this year? Uh, not great changes in the Razor this year. We've got the new colour schemes obviously across the range, so that's in the Razor. Um, and that's about it on that one. It's a, it's a pretty solid kite. There's not, not really a great deal to change on that I'm, one. I'm a little biased with this kite. How can you improve a beast? So yeah, I can't good. wait to get onto it this year. And then not to forget the lithium as well for the guys that are just getting getting started, wanting to sort of progress. Yep, so this is our number one selling kite, the lithium. Um, just a really, really easy kite to use, really predictable. The power of it and the pull of it is really smooth. Um, it's not a kite that you have to actively fly to get the most out of it. So if you don't have the flying skills, this is just a kite you, you, know, you can put it in a spot, pull the bar in and it'll give you the power and get you going. Yeah, perfect. Um, so for it's also got a huge amount of D power and really pivotal turning. Yeah, so for all right, riders, you've got a kite that's going to suit their needs and Absolutely. make and sure they're out on the water having fun. Yeah, for sure. And it's got the it's got the performance and the flight characteristics. Like if you want to get into the waves, this is actually a really good kite to progress into waves because of the way it turns. It's really pivotal turning. Um, and then for getting into doing jumps and progressing that way, it's got awesome float and really predictable like uh, handling characteristics for the sky. So you're not really going to get spanked too hard with this one. So whether you're a newbie just looking to get out in the water and break into kite surfing or you're looking to upgrade your kit, come down, see the boys at Airborne Kite Surfing in Osborne Park. They'll be able to sort you out with whatever you need. And if you see me out on the water, come say hi, grab my gear, take it for a fly and have fun. So as well as checking out the new gear and finding out what's new and what's changed, I'm waiting for, for my gear. So Dave, give it here. I'm out of here. See you later.